And the first rule is it has to be interesting. It doesn't have to be worth anything. When Steve Jobs and I started Apple, we sat around and talked about, oh my gosh, we got this little device. Maybe a few of our hobbyist friends will buy a board from us, but we don't know if we're going to make a profit. It doesn't matter. We'll go out, go out, take a step, do something. You know, f um, give yourself a chance. We didn't think, oh, maybe we'll have a big company someday. We just thought, hey, you know what? It's two of us doing what we'd like to do together. So you don't necessarily, for a lot of the big revolutions, you don't necessarily have to see that it's a valuable future. The big companies were saying it wouldn't work. That's equivalent to today, somebody sitting down starting with a bunch of ideas and a whole bunch of naysayers. No, 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 it's not done that way. But if you've got a creative mind, you're doing it your way, then you, you really have a chance to do things that haven't been thought of before. Look at all the big companies that we've got. You know, the Apples and the Facebooks and Twitters and, and, and Googles, and they all came from young people. Picture the possibilities um, is just is a place for a lot of young people to realize that, oh my gosh, I can have a dream and turn it into something real. We call it sometimes virtual reality. Things in film, you know, could be just have started out as a dream in the neurons in your brain, and you can bring it to life and, and inspire people. But you know, the conference, you'll 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 learn so much from it. And then all of a sudden, you could actually come up with the great, great, great movie of all time too, doing that sort of thing. You know, you'll learn what's important and what's not.